Hello everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. In this video, I want to introduce you to our Substack. And uh, with our Substack, we're going to probably try out a monthly um, service, subscription service. And basically, it's going to include daily equity information and stock picks that I already post behind my paywall on my blog. So I thought I'd move it over to Substack. This is what it contains. So every day I'm posting equity information, which is generated by my various Python scripts that I've had been working for the last number of months. And they work pretty good. So I want to go through the different Excel files. One's a CSV file, comma separated value file, and I'll just show you what's in it. So the first thing is you can see these two files are the same. One's Excel, one's a CSV. So let me just pull this up. These are, as I said, these are Excel files. Pretty simple. This is today's sampling, August um, 2nd. And uh, that is, uh, yeah, August 2nd. So in here, we've got all the different categories separated out. Um, and you can sort them by just doing this, going under data, uh, actually home data. looks like I can't do it right now because I am unpaid version of Excel. We can easily sort these out and figure out which ones are the paying version. Oh, yes, it helps me to enable the editing. All right, so let me just go back to this. So under data, sort, and then you have two categories here. The category, the subcategory, the sector, market sector, and the return for the month. So we're now on the second day of August. These are the returns for August so far. So let's go through that. And we can see those subcategories, sort, uh, returns by largest to smallest. So you can see here which ones are positive so far for the year. And there you go. I mean, you can see the leading ones are commodity metal, agriculture, U.S. crypto, and so on. So those are the positive ones. And uh, what, we, what I do is a couple of other things that are automatically generated as Excel files are uh, the total all stocks ranked in the following way. Okay, so we have our stock symbol right here. These are the returns for the last 20 days, for the last 50 working days, and that's been blank for a while. Now, in terms of buying potential as a signal, there's two ways I do it. The most reliable way are doing two technical indicators that most people never heard of uh, is the Arun up and the Arun down. So basically on the Arun up, it's a buy signal. So the higher it is between 0 to 100, that's pretty well an imminent buy signal. Okay, so the sooner you get in on that stock, you can see uh, there's a signal that this will be coming to a buy signal at some point. The Arun down is the opposite, which is a sell signal. So the lower it is, um, the le the higher probability there is the higher the value between zero and 100 the higher probability it's a sell signal so essentially for the perfect stock to buy you'd want to buy maybe something like this uh nicola and rgti whatever that is okay and um let me pull up uh probably would help if i pull up um yahoo finance just to show you exactly what i mean so if I go over to Yahoo Finance here, just no platform needed. You know, Yahoo Finance is fairly, fairly, it's free. So if I go back to my spreadsheet here and I'll pull up two symbols, these are, these are the, the leading ones. So as I said, we have this RGTI and Nikola. So let's check out those, see where those charts are at. So RGTI, so Rigetti Computing. Okay, so it's a stock at two two ninety nine. Uh, if you do the chart analysis, you can see here that it's looking pretty good as a buy signal because of its run up from uh, 
I guess that's the price here of uh, right there to right here from what's the price to a buck eighty four at the end of July, and a couple days later it's already at three twenty five. So that is considered a buy signal. So if I go over to our spreadsheet here, if I can find there it is. All right here. So in there you can see that that looks pretty good for that stock. So in here we have in a room a hundred, a room down, no sell signal whatsoever, volume at one point six, recommended. Now these are professionally recommended re recommended by analysts of six analysts out there. These are institutional uh, investors, so there's six of them recommending it. There's the latest price, three twenty five, strong buy, and three sells. So these again are put out by the in, by various institutional analysts. One strong buy, two buys, three sells as well. So this looks good, but based upon this right here on the analyst for strong or buy signals, you base it, base it on that. So the next company that looks pretty good is this Nikola. Let's verify that's the case. NKLA, Nikola, uh, right now, 302. Okay, so if I go into the chart here, it's probably a similar pattern. Um, yeah, so there's Nikola as well. Similar pattern, July 27th, $2.01. One. And now it's gone up to a buck, $3.12. So you can see here um, on the parameters here, fairly high volume. Close has moved up. And right here, again, same thing. But what you're looking for among the analysts is the sell signal. So that's going to tell you, don't bother. Now, these are just various uh, stocks that you can go through. And because it's an Excel spreadsheet, you can take it upon yourself to even move, uh, move ahead farther to do further analysis on these based upon closing price, maybe your volume. So if you know Excel, that's all the sort of things you can do with. Now, those don't look great. So what I've done in the analysis here further is we have vo lo uh, low volatile low volatile stocks. These are what you really want. You don't want high volatile stocks. So in this case, what we've got here is, again, similar as before. All right, so let me just show you what we got here. So we have the stock name, the returns for the for last 20 working days, 50 working days. And again, we have a similar Arun up and Arun down. Okay. Then we have here our volatility. Our volatility, anything under 0.4 is considered pretty good and low volatile and low risk to consider to buy. Similar thing now. Six recommendations from institutional investors, closing price at $44, strong buys, uh, three strong buys and four buys. But here's the key. No selling recommendations. Again, from the same set of um, available institutional advisors, market analysts, there's virtually no selling recommendations. So this is what you really want to focus on. Um, and when you look at uh, the Arun as well, very similar pattern. You're going to have quite possibly a buy signal on the Arun up and down. Okay, so that's for the equities. So let me pull up how Yelp look. Okay, these will look much, much better. Okay, so you can see here Yelp was down. We had a very, basically the U.S. government's got uh, their uh, financial outlook credibility cut. And it's not looking good. So the market took a bloodbath today. So let's see how Yelp responded to that. So in the five day, you can see it kind of got hit. But what you're looking for is how badly did it get hit? Didn't get hit that bad. The um, five days looking pretty, pretty, pretty strong with a good support. Uh, on the monthly, you can see it here from $34 to $43. That's pretty good. Six month, not bad. $27 all the way up to almost doubling in price. Pretty good, pretty good pick. Now, um, that's Yelp, right? 
So if I look at the second one, which is PCTY as well, and we'll do the same thing, PCTY. So we're looking at Paylocity Holding Corporation. Don't know it. Doesn't matter if it's a good pick. So you can see here, it didn't lose a lot of money. From 212 at the start, and it ended up at two, sorry, 216 at 212. It held its own pretty good there. Um, five day chart, still a loss, but it's kind of maybe battling back. But again, these are just one of many picks here. So here on among the low volatile, we have 87 ones to go through, and these are by order of um, the various, uh, uh, it's just, it's just the ranking formula I come up with. These are the strongest ones with the weakest uh, selling outlook as well as uh, their low volatile ball filtering out that 0.4 on the volatility here. Um, on the volumes, a different story as well. But again, if you look at these, very strong. Five buy, sell, five sell, buy, five recommendation, sell recommendations. Okay. So I'll show you uh, another one here, um, A Rocks, or this one. This one's been pretty good. This is a conservative company carrier, air conditioning. Okay, so when you look at it, eighteen percent on the twenty-day uh, working day uh, on the returns, thirty-three percent over fifty-day, which is pretty strong. Uh, again, Arun up hundred. Arun down zero. So this is another one of those imminent stocks to consider. Very low volatile. Six recommendations to buy. Closing price at $59. Five buy. Uh, sorry, five strong buys. Five buys. And again, no selling recommendations. No zero buys. Sorry, no zero sells. No zero strong sells. Pretty good. I mean, you're getting some very strong picks. And this one's ranked number seven. So if you take a look at overall, and the reason I choose carriers, because I've seen this come and go all year in 2023. So if you look at carrier, okay, so dipped a little bit with that bad news. Five days looking okay. One month. And this just one month, $46, $48 to $58 in, in one month. That's pretty strong. When you look at the year to date, you can see there, right there, $41. Back in end of May to fifty nine dollars, very 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 strong. Um, if I look at the uh, one year, pretty conservative, low point at thirty four, nice run up to fifty eight dollars. So it's almost double in price. Okay, so let's go into the chart and compare it to some of the other um, some of the other big stocks, just as a comparison. So if I do I don't know, NVIDIA is a good run up as just as a see how that one's done. So you can see here, um, NVIDIA here in Cyan, um, it's down 2.5, I believe. Let's go year to date. So you can see there, uh, yeah, NVIDIA is up, uh, 218%, 42%, but that's all fine. But you can see how it's kind of slowed down on the return there. Um, so let's check out last month. You can see here a carrier uh would give you an extra six percent versus uh no, you got 15. So this is uh one one view, so you got 18 percent kit with carrier versus 4.5 percent with NVIDIA. So if you knew about these, you 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 get better performance with carrier and holding carrier on its own. That's pretty strong. I'll show you one more just to summarize here. So we have this one called A Rock. Okay. So this is called Arch Rock. I mean, today it's positive 1.33%. It's pretty strong. Uh, five day, $10 uh, back in June 27th, all the way up to 12.94. So almost 30% last month. Or the last five days, I'm sorry. Uh, is that five days? Sorry, July 25th. So it's it's moved three percent last uh, ten uh, last uh, week or so. Pretty close last week. Five days. Sorry, yeah, last week. Monthly view. 
Um, so this might be one of those stocks that's ready to break out like long term. I've, I've occasionally found winners like this. Six month, you can see that big move up nine ninety one to twelve third from nine like basically thirty percent since here on July sixth. So that's on the move. This thing may start to really take off. Um, so again, this is the power of these sort of picks because you get low volatile. Uh, you almost get a buying signal as well as a sell signal, and it's quantified on top of uh, the volatility, the volume as well, or sorry, the volatility, which in this spreadsheet here, rank low volatility is very, very low. So all of them are very good recommendations. On top of, you're going to save yourself a lot of time because it's all ranked by uh, strong buys, buys, and virtually all of these. All of these. You can see all zero sell and zero strong sell. So none of these have any so sell or strong sell recommendations. This will save you a lot of time, a lot of time on what to pick out in the stocks. So that's that's just the beginning. Let me show you what else you can get with this. Also, if you go back into the uh, folder here, every day I pump this out, ETF. Okay, so now we're looking at the ETFs. And again, if I was to show you the um, breakdown on the categories, this is where you'll know what the winning ETFs are based upon their uh, upon their uh, upon their categories. So as I said, let me just do this again and sort this. You can see just just for the beginning of August, which one which categories are the winning categories, and over time you get to see what will be your strong, uh, your very strong categories for the uh, month, throughout the month. It could be two weeks in, a month in, and then you reset for the next month. So you're always optimizing what sectors are really good to, to be in. So based upon that, what we've got here is, as I showed, we, we, have, we have a breakdown now ba based upon ETFs. So if you load this in, uh, with the ETF, this is a little different. So we have our ETF, same thing as before, the returns on the 20-day, 50 working days. Same thing as before on the Arun up and the Arun down, as well as the volume and the closing price per unit that you want to buy. Unfortunately, as you know, there's no recommendations from analysts regarding ETF outlook on the recommended buy or sell. So there's not much to work from. But what you can see here is which are the better ETFs to be in. So let me just show you a couple of examples here, IEZ. Now, these are all available if you are on, let's say, Interactive Brokers. These are all available on on uh, on uh, Interactive Brokers. They have a very almost a 1,000 ETFs to choose from on Interactive Brokers. That's why I'm with them. So you can see here IEF is... I share U.S. oil equipment uh, and services ETF. Lost a little bit, but you can see here it's gone from 23, uh, 2320 to 2366 intraday. You can see here on the monthly view, it's gone from 20 to 23. So it's gone up, let's say, 15% last month. Five-day view, it's very volatile. But you can see... Just on the ETF, which ones to buy? And again, these are um, these are really good ETFs to know, and they're all mainstream. There's no re weird uh, weird uh, ETF. It's all again available on something like Interactive Brokers. So let's check check out this one, FM. This one I've never heard of. So this one's the Frontier. Okay, why Frontier? Well, let's take a look at what we've got. On our um, category, you can see here our frontier has done pretty good. It's, it's ranking for two days in into uh, into August. So 0.53% uh, in two days for frontier, which is an MSCI as well. So you probably, I mean, that's pretty good. Um, well, it's hard to say. These are probably super volatile. Yeah, these are not great performers. 
but from 25 to 27 in a month, not bad. So this is really good for when everything goes bad, but this particular ETF may do well because it's these are frontier markets. Uh, Kazakhstan, Central Eur Eurasia, the like. Okay. So there's those. Um, but they're usually not a top perform. But it, just in case if things go bad, if they do perform. It can be not a bad ETF to be in. But again, that's an MC MSCI, right? That's a standard mainstream ETF for you. So let's check out some of the other ETFs. Um, so we've got SLX. Okay, so let's check out SLX. So again, let me remind you what our top performers are. It's the quote-unquote dirty industry. Okay, so we're in involving metal, agriculture, uh, crypto, oddly, in a weird way, um, and so on. So a lot, a lot of these metals will show up. So in here, going back to... Um, the ETF selection. This one, uh, yeah. So this one's SLX. I believe this is steel, U.S. steel producers. Vanex steel as well. So here is down a little bit. Five days it's down. One month it's done okay. But again, these are buy and hold strategies or buy and hold long term. So if you look at the six month, you know, from fifty six to sixty seven dollars, compared to when the big tech, the Magnificent Seven, are starting to cool off, these are starting to these are starting to produce and kind of pick up the slack of performance of what you're not getting any further on the big the Magnificent Seven as they call them mid twenty twenty three. So that's pretty good. Uh, one month again, sixty-three to sixty-seven dollars in one month. That's just over ten percent return. So that's a pretty good one. Um, next one we have is Copex. Let's see what that one is. That's copper, obviously. Now, one thing I need to tell you about copper is, is a copper miner. Okay, so how's it been performing? Similar pattern, thirty-six to thirty-nine, so ten percent return. And this is uh, Global X, another big provider in ETF. Okay, so we have that. Let's do one more. Uh, SIVR. I could go on and on like this. So this is sil physical silver shares ETF in Aberdeen. So this this can give you exposure to silver as it performs without having physical silver. So monthly view, it started to cool off there, but you know, twenty-one to twenty-two dollars, eh, not great. Uh, PNQI is another one. Let me just pull that one up as just one last option. So that's Invesco, Nasdaq, Internet ETF. So these are starting to perform. So let me see uh, one thing I did notice. Let me just see here in the sectors of. Um, So in, in here, one of the better performers with crypto, okay? Oddly enough, don't ask me why. So let's go over to the ETFs, see if we can find any ETFs for, um, for crypto. So you can see here we've got 34 available that have been uh, selected by that script. We have here QQQ as well. Um, we have Uranium. Uh, Sox, which is, I think, Europe. Yeah, I'm not seeing any uh, Bitcoin in here. Or what other ones are there to pick from? Let's see here. So we've got, let's see, real estate's another one. And these, these are usually REITs. Um, let's see if I could find anything. Um no, I'm not seeing any REITs that I'm familiar with. Some of these can be REITs for all I know. But um, really important metric, when things go bad, you can still find performing ETFs, at least showing you which ones are performing and you can further investigate on your own. So for what you get, this 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 is worth every penny. 
that you'd pay into. And part of the thing is, I'm going to put this up in my Substack to so get part of that as part of the subscription. I have to get access to that on my Substack, and uh, it's pretty easy to subscribe to. Anyways, I just want to show you that. Um, if you want to know more about the Substack, uh, let me just pull this up. So if you go to Quant Labs uh, Substack, QuantLabs.substack. So it's QuantLabs.substack.com. Pretty simple. And then you get all the information there on the Substack. And and eventually, all my blog posts of the last 10 years are, are going to make it their way into this as well. And some of those premium ones will be what I'm showing you. The, the, st the stock picks, the ETF picks, the low volatile stock picks as well. Worth every penny, my man. So hopefully I'll help you out. Talk to you later. Thanks.